Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 2. Uh, the Wizard's Throne. We've made some good progress, and I did uh, review the previous uh, footage just to see how the, the series was going, and I noticed that the volume is kind of all over the place. I'm not really sure that there's a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, I particularly noticed it during the cinematic, where you couldn't hear Merlin's voice really at all in the recording. However, the gameplay sound is still pretty loud, even though the cinematic voice was really quiet. And there doesn't seem to be separate sliders for that, so that's just how it's going to be, I guess, unfortunately. Uh, what have we got over here? Dangerous currents. Nothing here. Nothing here, you say? Well, we will investigate anyway. Alright, so... Hmm. There's a mine there that I just never grabbed. I also never tested out this teleporter. So I think we send one of our swashbucklers out this way. Don't raise the mine, that would be tragic. Okay, you can explore it that way. We found Geyser. Uh, 31, uh, and 51 mana. Okay. Replay. Oh, there was a fight against nothing. Okay. Yeah, so even though we are playing as a fire mage, we did just gain a water spell, which is kind of funny. Uh, you can... There's something in the first stage wonders as well. You could just gain... Uh, you could just gain spells from outside of your research area if you uh, found them. Alright. So we know that they have a cat around here somewhere, a cat master. What do we have here? Golden Scimitar, attack plus three. Well, that's... Uh, Something. See these cities? They have been cleansed by the burning wrath of Yaka. You will suffer the same fate as the rest of your infidel race. Sure. I think that you would have been better off actually capturing these cities and, you know, building units out of them, but... I guess you could pillage them for some resources. Okay, I'm not worried about that attack force. It does have two fire cats. Uh, but especially if they attack into me, they won't be able to attack at the start of their turn, right? Alright, um... I guess I probably don't need to defend this. It makes more sense to defend this city. So we'll move our army out. That's oh, that desert that's so noisy. Uh, do I want to be casting spells, summoning another Hellhound? Maybe. Ah, I've got mana. Really. Alright, you, uh, you do that. I wonder if this is a normal difficulty issue, or just an AI issue in general. Uh, because this is a campaign, this is probably just scripted to be here and to attack. So I don't. It actually probably has nothing to do with the AI. Now that I now that I thought about it for half a second. All right. Well, you have fire immunity. So I guess it's these uh, the hunters that are going to be the main issue for you. Let's see. If I want to attack, I have twenty five percent chance to hit from this distance. Well, I increased my odds and uh, was not rewarded for it. Sixty. Okay. Um, I don't really need to cast spells here, but let's just show off this new spell. Ah, 
imagine if I'd actually gotten a hit in. Yeah, can my knight just charge that far? Do I want to risk it? Answer is no. Seven percent. Thirty-five. Damage. Of course. Alright, we'll do something like that. What did you do? Is that skin of oil? Uh, yeah, skin of oil. Okay. Oh, you can't fire the crossbow if you've moved outside of your gold. I was thinking of, uh, in... Age of Wonders 3, where that was less of an issue. Okay, do I use my turn to heal, or do I just try to hit something with the magic bolts? Guess we'll do some damage and not kill anything. Excellent. Really? Finally. Does it show anywhere what the metal actually does? I guess we can check outside of the combat. So I've got some experience. Maybe it just doesn't show in this game. Well, if it's the same as uh, Age of Wonders 1, then one metal will be... Like, silver will be plus one attack, plus one defense, and plus one health, I guess. And then gold will be plus one damage, plus one resistance, and another plus one health. So, I mean, it makes a small difference. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much of anything out there. Probably nothing, but I'll continue to investigate. Ah, gold. Kind of camouflaged on the uh, desert there. Siege workshop or a wooden wall? Well, that's uh, an easy choice. Is there a way to center on them? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll take the furnace, which should be double income because I'm a fire mage. I wonder if this is the way up or not. Strong current damage. Is that a two? Uh, I guess there was a way through there without taking damage. Fortunately, I can't take that land structure. If only I had someone on the boat to disembark for that sort of thing. Oh. Retreat. Oh, there was something there I could have done. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, I have a few units in this area. We can investigate. Also, you. Let's go back through here and just see where this sends us. Because I don't think I ever did that. Interesting. So this teleporter that sends me there... It's just a one-way, I guess. Uh, Alright, there was something else I wanted to do. Hmm. Yeah, it just takes a, a while to build everything, I guess. Ah. That army. It's back. Right, that doesn't actually work. I could have more than one stack. Or I could explore. Uh, we finished our pioneer. Excellent. Not enough people. Oh, it does cost people. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case, I guess we'll get a library. Get ourselves some re research there. The well, Locus of Shrine of Nature would be growth as well. Hmm, building some fire cats would be good as well. And we'll go Shrine of Nature in our Elf Town, just for thematic reasons. It will probably never finish. Oh. Go up this way. And we lost a halberdier. Alright. Yeah, you start with marksmanship. If we stay in green, we can still fire our crossbow. That's a good hit. You have strike, right? Yeah. And decent stats. Obviously the knight's stronger. So it is a tier 3 unit instead of a tier 2. I guess we'll just come forward with everybody else. Okay. So now if we try to magic bolts, we uh, have a 6% chance to hit, but an 86% chance to hit our knight or the tree along the way. Excellent. Okay. Nice. And road of movement, but I guess we're exploring up this way now. That's why we got the summon. You know. Well, they do have a unit here, so having some defending units around is somewhat sensible, I guess, but I feel like. 
I really don't need it. Money. All right, I had a quest to raise this, which I don't know if that's enough units. You need um, a certain amount of army strength in order to raise structures in this game. Oh, more gold. So hopefully with the Flashbuckler's aid, we'll have enough. All right. Could do another Hellhound. Uh, might as well, I guess. Research I could look at as well. I don't need this much mana. I go, oh, I can go all the way up to 45. Uh, that's fine, I still have a positive income. If I want to min-max, it makes sense to do research because on the next mission I'll be carrying spells and stats over, presumably. Whereas I will not be carrying mana over. Okay, we can learn archery. I didn't mention this before, but these are random, but these are offered. I already have a bow that gives me archery, though, and I assume I'll be carrying... If Assuming the hero comes with me to the next mission, I assume I get the artifacts. If not, then I should probably put these on the main hero, but I'm not going to worry about it too much, I guess. Attack, defend, uh, attack and damage or defense and resistance. We'll take defense resistance, I think. I'm more concerned about my hero dying than I am about my hero doing damage. Okay, you are potentially going to cause me trouble. I should be able to run you down with this, though. Are you 34? Okay. Yeah, so my units are slightly faster. Hmm. Well, we took the magic relay, so this is our domain now. Maybe they were right, and there is nothing up here aside from that water wheel. Hmm. Another passage through here, maybe? Yeah, you heal. I wasn't sure if mechanical units had no healing in this version. Alright. Well. We grabbed the fire node. Which gave us... Yeah, forces aren't sufficient. Give us more mana and research uh, in the meantime, I suppose. More gold. Yeah, seeing the gold on this desert dirt tile is uh, it's something. Oh, we've got another outpost, and there's his main city with a level 2 wizard tower in it. You can see because it has two notches. Mystic... Two cat masters. Hmm. I mean, that'll be reasonably hard to take out, I guess. Uh, my current army probably can do it. They are smart enough to retake their structures. That's good to see. Uh, finished a builder's hall. You want to build a wizard's tower for the next 17 turns. 500 gold, right? Yeah. Mm. 
That seems questionable. A temple complex. Extending my uh, domain out that way would be nice, but... Okay, let's see if there is anything out this way. And now we'll cast this. Whoops. Slight misclick. I guess we'll probably send the army back around this way then. Oh, that's a lot of rapids. Can these archers get here? Not quite. I don't think this is in either of our domains. But it should be a relatively easy fight. Of course, it is all our all RNG at the end of the day. This is why Yeah, you can see this is why people complained about the uh, the mischance. not have lost the unit here. The stats are so bad. But uh, yeah, when Miss Chance was removed in uh, Age of Wonders 3, uh, people rejoiced. And then Age of Wonders 3's first expansion added in the Halflings, who had a Miss Chance as a mechanic. And uh, people did not rejoice on that one. I don't know, I think it's okay. I think I uh, I really like the way Planetfall handled it, where you had Mischance, but Mischance was mostly just reserved for long range attacks, and most of your range attacks you could get close enough to remove your Mischance entirely. Burning Desert, nothing lies beyond. Okay. We'll send a hellhound out to investigate. Investigate this great nothing. But yeah, this uh, this unit, the Glade Runner, that I lost to that hunter. Um, I guess it does have lower stats, but it is the equivalent um, elf version of their starting unit. Oh shoot, that's really bad. I've had this thing just sitting here. All right, they have a hero. They have a lot of units, actually. Uh, a freight. It's a lot of mana. Sure. Huh. Two turns faster because they were happy. They are cheerful because of... The terrain, maybe? And my alignment? The production's not great, though. Ah, finished a barracks here, we can one turn the firecats. Or we could go up to catmasters and prowlers if we wanted to. I mean, I've got the resources. More monks? No, we'll go. We'll go for the advanced units. Alright. Hmm.
wonder if there's anything out there. Probably come back and uh, regroup. So that we can take on those ancient runes. They say that they won't be hard, but... Don't know exactly what that means. Alright, we took the magic relay. Which gives us domain on their capital, isn't that handy? Campaign design is looking out for us. Three cat masters. Hmm. And that's... Okay, a great desert. That's their domain from their tower, which is pretty far. Mm, yeah, okay, we can connect up this way. Alright. It's going to tell me I can't because I'm going to have to move through here individually. Because it doesn't want you to... Oh, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, it doesn't want you to be taking a ton of damage with, uh, you know, you just click twice really fast and have your unit travel through a bunch of damaging terrain, I guess. I appreciate that the uh, autopather doesn't consider that terrain to be navigatable. That's another word I've tried to say before. Navigatable, I suppose. Okay, yeah, I got our ten research. Like really, if I wanted to to game the game the game, you know, I would just hit and turn outside of when I'm sieging their their city. I would just hit and turn a bunch of times to research everything. But that's not very fun, so I will not be doing that. Uh, population 310, growth, okay. Mm. Well, let's uh, get some more mana here and then maybe get that Shrine of Growth. Oh, they've split off their army. Alright. What's this? Burning Desert, nothing lies beyond. I want you to regroup, it's going to be two turns. Oh, I can't even move in there. Okay, well, we will regroup next turn. Regroup next turn. Uh, rebuild structure. Keep exploring. I've forgotten how uh, fast-paced this game is compared to to the other ones, which is interesting because the Age of Wonders franchise has always been sort of fast-paced. Like Age of Wonders three, if you compare it to something like Civilization, uh, it's just way faster. But Age of Wonders three and I guess Planetfall by extension are actually way slower than um, than this game is. I wonder how the original game would compare then, because I remember the first game, I want to say Age of Wonders 1 was slower than Age of Wonders 2, but I could be misremembering. Okay, so I could alter node if I had a node in my domain. This is outside of my domain. I don't think I actually have any, I just like having the spell. But I think it's actually completely useless for me. Uh, oh, there's this one. Which I don't own, because I don't have any swimming units here. Well, let's transmog it anyway. And as far as uh, lack of swimming units go, if I do this, what happens? Teleporter's the fastest way. Well, I think that was a six. Uh, disjunction. Attempts to remove an enemy enchantment. I guess that's useful. Uh, fire Halo. Fire Immunity seems like a really good spell to be casting on my units. Given who we're up against. Alright. Keep running. I guess I can look at this. Oh! City? Max size? What the heck? How did this have so many people in it, in that little caravan? No wonder the other town is out of population. 
Uh, I think the population you get back is based on the size that w of the city that was destroyed. Yeah, stable. They're not happy because they're in scorched terrain here. But um, that was definitely a good investment. Should probably be getting this. And oh, I think I see something glowing over there. Oh well. Um, you. Oh, does it not remember your path? Okay. This is probably going to be defended by a lurker, if I had to guess. Or, oh no, it's on land, it's not in water. Okay. Maybe that was more of an Age of Wonders 1 thing, where you would have these water nodes that were actually in water. Oh, this one looks like it is. This one might be defended then. Oh wait, that's not even in my domain. What am I doing? The city isn't in my domain. It doesn't have a wizard tower. Oh well. Okay, got a few Tigran units here. Good thing I grouped my units up. So you can see there's a distance penalty, so if I move closer, I'd have an easier time hitting. More... More importantly, if I move closer, I can get you through. Actually, I don't want you super close, because you're injured and probably going to die. Going for the crossbowman. And a miss. Excellent. Okay, well, I can charge. And I'll get there. Okay, fire crossbow. What am I looking at here? 0% hit chance. Ah, excellent. Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Three shots at twenty-five? Do I want to take it? Forty-five, two shots. Or fifty. Hmm. Go there. Just because... I'm just doing this because you don't have an obstacle penalty for the unit right in front of you. So I'm trying to... Ah, I didn't get it. I'm trying to do that. And then you... I mean, I guess we could... Hmm. Yeah, see, this is where it start getting bad. I'm gonna take that shot. Uh, didn't lose any units, however, we are burning. Do you have strike? You do. Okay, we're just gonna move you forward so that we can do this. You were the one with experience, okay. Alright, 65 gold and an anti-magic ring. Send it to our hero. See if they have another C. 
city up here. It doesn't look like they do, probably. It's just a way around. Alright, are you enough? Well, I guess we're not raising that. Seven, huh? Isn't it six to move into a forest? No, I guess it's eight. Okay. Uh, one thing I do want to check. Okay, you did automatically equip it. Plus two resistance and magic protection. It's looking pretty solid. Okay, Fire Halo. Wither destroys target city's crops, causing the population to starve. Yeah, I don't generally like doing that kind of thing, because I'd rather take a healthy city than an make one sick, but I guess as far as siege tactics go, it's not a bad idea. Hmm. We'll take to spell magic because it's fast and there's nothing I particularly want to be researching. I have so much money. I uh, should be building units. Get growth so I can make more, so that I can make more pioneers, because that's, uh, that's what I'm doing, because I don't need to worry about the enemy. They don't have enough stuff to threaten me. Hmm. Catmasters, I mean, that would be fun. Okay, this is ready. But it's outside of my domain. This is very outside of my domain. Yeah, so... It's already a fire node. Yeah, it turns out this was uh, not my best investment. No, they do actually have enough stuff that if they attack with everything, this would be a little bit scary. Uh, you have the Blazing Comet spell. Okay. So spell, abort. Get an Efreet instead. Spend all of our resources on that. And uh, you have... Can I hit M to move you? Yes, that does work. Okay. Oh, shoot. You and I... I live somewhere else. Yaka, consider this a gift to celebrate our endeavor. It may come in handy if your robe accidentally catches fire. That's weak. So I should be endeavoring to take that, I suppose, before I finish the mission, uh, but I don't think it's going to matter too terribly much. Oh. Fourth angry insects to attack an area. Yeah, we'll grab that. Up to 70 production. Amazing. And a ton of population. Actually, you know what? Let's just get the Pioneer here and build it that way. That makes more sense. Finish the Shrine of Nature. Yeah, so this monastery makes High Priests, which have Holy Bolts and Turn Undead. Hmm. Scout and Nymph. Well, let's go up to... well, we're going to grow next turn anyway, but... Wait, Shrine of Nature increases production? I did not know that. thought it was just growth. Merlin, it is time for you to choose to be a friend to the Earth. Do my bidding and I will, and I will prosper you. You want me to raise this mine? 
Alright, I mean, I got units in the area. Let's see if that's enough. Let's just do it with one unit, so that we, uh, maybe save some movement points. I really like that spell, huh? Maybe it's the only spell they have in the combat spell. 19, 60, uh, we'll go for the 60. Ooh, good job, crossbowman. Okay, Catmaster is burning. We should be able to finish that off with one of our units, hopefully. Eight percent chance to hit. No. That was uh, a little bit optimistic. Well, they're all ranged, so... Probably just want to charge forward. Gets you marksmanship because you are a ranged unit. And I guess death and holy protection, did you have that before? I don't know. More attack and defense. Maybe shouldn't have done that during the battle, but I felt like doing it. 23%. What if I just attack you? Ah, uh, that's a little bit awkward. How much health do you have left? Six? If I do this, I can get in this way. Okay. Hmm. Figured my odds were better with that way, but it didn't work out for me. Well, we can grab our knight, who... I guess maybe just stats on that one. Some units are less exciting than others. Oh, they do move forward, okay. Oh, more units. Oh. Taking out all of their units piecemeal like this is going to... make this a lot easier. Obviously. And you cast Blazing Comet, but you're uh, out of spell points and don't have don't seem to have a ranged attack. So I guess we will expect you to come to us. Strike. 
All right, well. A little bit risky, but. Uh, no obstacle, okay. For uh, all that that mattered. Damage. Alright, getting the experience on our hero, and then they have, what, a cat master here? Oops, let's do it this way, I guess. Just because I don't want to have to hunt it down later. These units should be more than capable. That tree is uh, sure a tree, huh? I guess we will actually do this. Just assume that they don't have more units to ambush my knight with. Which is always a little bit risky. That was these units, which I did know about. Okay. And I can produce my own cat masters now. Or I could go to Champions Guild and get Mystics and Manticores. Manticores would be pretty nice. Archery again, huh? I almost should just take it so it's out of the pool and I get maybe more exciting options. We'll have to see. I'll be boring and just take defense again. I think stacking defense is the way to go. Okay, there's possibly stuff out there, but I don't really need to explore all the corners of the map. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Yeah, they have a lot of shredders. Okay. Hmm, might want to go out and grab that. I'm mildly curious. It's uh, so far, though. Alright, let's see if we can complete one of these quests. Obviously, I don't need the money. What a pleasant surprise! You've completed my quest. As promised, the reward is yours. I can either have mana or a great bow. And we've got Avengers. Yeah, they're angry that I blew up the mine. So they're probably going to attack me. Uh, let's make sure they attack me, because I don't want them attacking my city that's undefended. So the other reason why you want... decent... Uh, armies, because... Oh, really? Is this in my domain? Nope. I might actually lose this. I guess all just comes down to RNG. That's, uh... Again, why I'm not playing this game on a higher difficulty. Okay. 
mean, he does have that block skill. Oh boy. Well, I hope that quest was worth it. It wasn't. Uh, we have just the archery skill on this hero now. Sure. When we group up here, we should have more than enough to deal with what they have. Yeah, and there's no uh, integration or whatever you'd call that. Uh, absorbing, absorbing towns, you just get it, including what they're building. So I guess I'll just build a shredder. And they've done nothing in this city, have they? All right. I mean, if I wanted to run for that, this would be in position, but... I guess not. Hey, look, it's defended. Wait, no, that was a one. I thought I saw a little two pop up. They're still running around. Hmm. Produce a wizard tower? Maybe not. I mean, I can't really blame them. There's not really anything else to build here. Uh, fireball. Sounds fun. Uh, so I could defend my city that I'm about to lose to these neutrals. Or I could just summon down here and rush them and win. So I think that's the option I'm going to go for. Uh, I'll wait for these units to group up. Got my freight. Which is, uh, you know, it'll help. We're gonna take fire damage for that? Yes. No restructure found. Oh, did I step in the wrong spot? Okay, more fire damage. Hmm. If we do this, we get up to 80 production a turn, which is pretty nice. Alright, so these ballistas, like, they're super expensive. Um, that was not a very good demonstration of how strong these things are. The shoot javelin ability is really good. Um, that infantry had the block skill, which I, I suspect was the, the main issue that we were running into there, but, you know, also RNG issues. Now we've done that, we've done that, okay. We have Fire Halo, we haven't cast this yet. Okay, we've got Power Node, which is only worth 10 instead of 20. Because it's the wrong, the wrong faction. Keep sending that guy all over the place, I guess. Oh, they're not going to attack my city. Okay. Are rebuilt. Yeah, this is uh, less good. What are 
Warhol. Let's get some Catmasters. Manticore on 150, huh? This cost population? Well, we'll do it anyway. Alright, that doesn't work from there. Don't right click, you want to left click. So yeah, by waiting for these units, we uh, are potentially allowing them to reinforce with those units. But I guess that's just how it's going to be. So Warhol for human gets us those swashbucklers. See, I've got more money than I know what to do with. Ah, our population shrunk. Because we rushed the one manticore. Hmm... Do I go over an hour just to finish this siege? I feel like there's probably only 10 minutes left, honestly, in this mission. So maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, do it. Especially if they do something dumb and split up their army. In order to try to take the city. So we'll keep our units in triangle formation. Uh, I guess we'll show off, show off the Manticore, why it's so good. Yeah, they uh, really gave us some distance, huh? So you might notice. There's, their infantry is not moving. That's because this unit flies, and uh, they can't hit it. Now they can on retaliations like this. Uh, Manticore is going to have better stats, but this allows me just to run away. And uh, like if the fight's not going well, I can just run away. Flying units are so good in the first two Age of Wonders games, and uh, it also has Poison Strike, which, as you can see, is pretty significant. Minus two to all your uh, your four main stats there. So Manticore, pretty good unit. That's, I guess, the equivalent of the knight unit that we that we have. Now this is ready. Who do I want to cast the fire halo on? Probably that. Cast. Let's try that again. Here. Cast. Fire immunity. Let's do one more. Fire halo on our infantry. And I guess enchant weapon. Although we're probably not going to be using it. Because we're going to be using this. Fireball. And Forge Blast. Harms units in the explosion and damages their production capabilities. I mean, probably doesn't matter.
AD production. Beautiful. Just get the stuff done. Finished Catmaster. Let's build another one. Champions Guild. We get the Druid and the Iron Maiden for elves. And we'll just finish this up. Which I guess will be with the first siege map that we'll be seeing. And they've de well, they've done a decent triangle defense here, but they also have these units. And uh, I don't feel bad about exploiting the AI, so we're just gonna do it this way. Skin of oil. Alright, looks like they don't have a tower guard built. They have a lot of ranged units, actually. This is gonna be... You know, as far as their army composition goes, this is not a bad army to be trying to hold a city with. And I don't have any siege with me. Which means that I have to try to force my way through the gates. I just assumed that I'd be able to win this. I might actually not be able to. Let's see, if I try to throw a blade... We get pretty significant bonuses for being on walls as well. Yeah, 75% obstacle as well. And part of that is that the angle I'm at is really bad. Uh, not much I can do about that. Six was my highest chance. Nope. All right, we do have a fireball though. Cast our one spell. Hmm. Alternatively, if we do this, well, if we do this, we still don't get two spells. We'll do that. Because that has swarmed. Fighting insects inflict two damage per turn. So given that their units weren't bunched up particularly well, I feel like that's probably our better option. And they don't have anybody down by this wall. Okay. That's only going to take us a couple of turns to force our way through, probably. The uh, gates being able to be targeted in battle is a change from first game, where this army would be completely unable to attack the city, because if you have walls and you don't have an attacking army at the battering ram, you just don't get in. So that's kind of funny. Well, one damage, excellent. Oh, ten. Okay, the knight's making progress. Throw blade 22. Yeah, so you can see this is a, a much better angle. Of course, can't expect much from a 22% hit chance. And magic bolts. Oh, we got lucky. Okay. I think that's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that was a terrible attack choice. You can hit, hit all your own units going on that angle. Alright. So from here... 
I was hoping that we were going to destroy it with that unit, but I guess we'll just attack with the Hellhound as well. Okay, wall is destroyed. I, unfortunately, these gates only have two tiles that they could be attacked from, so as you can see, I can't move through. Uh, so my units are blocking my entrance. Now, if I move right up against this wall, that's still... Oh, that was unexpected. Yeah, you can see here, this is where like a fireball spell would be really good against me. 91% chance of hitting an obstacle. That doesn't sound great. Especially when that obstacle is probably my knight. 0% hit chance. Yeah, uh, you do have block. Maybe we'll just sit there. Yeah, floating is not flying. I have to break through this door. Five ball left. Alright. 1% hit chance. I mean, I guess I might as well take the shot. Oh, I had a chance of hitting my own infantry. Okay, maybe that wasn't a great strategy. Yeah, I have some melee units uh, covering for the hero, so I'm assuming they're not going to be able to kill me. Even though they're all really trying. strike. I think that was something that was changed uh, in Shadow Magic, the standalone expansion to this game. I'm pretty sure Fire Wizards got Fire Strike instead of Magic Strike, which would make sense. All right, so gates are down. I can actually get in now. Which means... Really? I'm not having the best of luck with this. Well, what if I were to do... Well, let's move you in first. I got marksmanship. Okay. Uh, you still have your heal, right? You do. Let's see, 55. No. Thirteen, I think. I think we'll just do it this way. Alright, and then over here. I guess we'll go in melee range here. Zero, zero, forty. Surprised there's no chance of hitting my own unit with that. Oh. I guess I moved too far over and I flipped the tower. Uh, 
Not entirely sure what their hero's doing, but I guess that's a thing they can do if they want to. Run around. Run around and be silly. Alright, but now we're starting to do some damage. Blade. Hmm. I think that was slightly better odds than. Just, I guess I'll move you first. These halberdiers are uh, not the most impressive units, I have to say. Okay, so the Mystic's going to have Blur, 50% chance to miss with melee attacks, so my Archers will also miss. That is how that goes. Hmm. Some good RNG on those too, huh? Actually, actually killed it. Is that all of our units? No, you still haven't moved. I guess we'll try. It drains your movement points, if nothing else. Ah, and then there's you. Hmm. Fifty percent. Obstacle, no obstacle. Oops. on our uh, halberd ear. Okay, and we can look from the mini-map. All they have left is Yaka. Let's uh, take our 40% shots. Can we hit them even once? Well, we hit them once. Progress. I swear, these, elf, these Elven Longbowmen are uh, some of the best base archers in the game. Okay, well, I'd rather not lose all my units. But uh, Wizards, it turns out, have pretty decent stats. said earlier that they aren't they aren't very good as combat units and that's true um, but that's because they're more useful in other roles generally Faster than 
trying to break down the, the other gate. Well, you should be able to move in at the very least. Try this again. Hey, I actually got two hits that time. to fight them again in order to take out the city, which we might actually not have enough troops for. Well, we're still in a decent position, I suppose. Uh, I guess we'll cast that on you. So with gold rank, well, just more stats. Concerned with all these fire cats. Uh, they will go down super fast once we've breached the wall. Oh, shoot. Thought I'd have enough movement to do that. Well, I guess I'll let my cavalry get there. We really want to be... Oh boy. Don't really have a choice. Well, we missed the fire cat, but it said that we missed the fire cat, which means that we didn't hit the wall. Yeah, you've already used your heal. right side. A bunch of our units are immune to fire because of these fire halos. Which means that their fire cats actually aren't going to be that effective. Hopefully. And the Hellhound and the Efreet have natural fire immunity as well. And that halberd here is super dead. Okay. Those are my two tiles I can attack the wall from. Might as well attack with my strongest units. 3 HP. That sounds familiar. It's always 3 HP, isn't it? This one's at 24. 8. All right, well, we destroyed it. Twelve. Twenty-two. And then we got you. These units. Uh, twenty-five? Oh, wow. 
Okay. You can get lucky sometimes. Oh, wait, was that a chance to hit my wolf? My own gut. Unit. Firecat didn't even fire because it had no valid targets. Alright, up to marksmanship too. That'll help. Decide who I want to send in here. I think the knight is slightly more durable. Wow. That shredder has uh, done incredible work. to hit the uh trying to hit the infantry with a ranged weapon it's pretty hard okay you do have enough movement to get out of the way which is really nice because then we can have more units get in uh well eventually All right, I guess that one's just dead. Uh, you will stay there, you will come in. Got him. On day 27, Yakad the Pathetic was defeated. And that's all it took. Okay, it took a little bit longer. I guess I could have had the siege as his own video, but well, here we are. And this is going to be very quiet, so. Yeah. Mm. They won't be troubled by dreams of tigran claws. Yaka's army flees beyond the southern dunes, routed. He is no god, merely a wizard of the circle. He refused to recognize Gabriel's power in me, though I think I surprised him. Although my blood is hot to put down these wizards, first I must take care of my people. They need refuge, a land of their own. We must search. So I don't think I really recruited any units of my own throughout that entire mission. It was, uh, you know, a lot of free units at the start, uh, which is just how it goes, uh, for especially for the first campaign mission. So I'm assuming it will get harder, even though I'm playing on normal difficulty instead of hard. I'm assuming that the difficulty will still pick up. Um, he was a CPU squire, which is the weakest yeah, of the, uh, the AIs, so. Yeah, Merlin the Magnificent, that's me. Oof, this mana. He had all of his mana tied up in upkeep, I guess. But yeah, that tells the story, doesn't it? They just didn't do anything. Uh, 
Okay, I had to click that three times for some reason. Well, Fire Sphere 2 next time. Uh, I will see you then.